Well, thank you, Artek, for sending it the next day delivery. Much appreciated. Because you don't have time for the shit waiting for things to arrive. I always want everything yesterday. Ooh. That's quite um, decent packaging. Got myself a 16 amp plug because I have a dedicated line running for my Migo. understand why all the welders come with no plugs. Can't really understand. I mean I know that you can have either 16 amp or normal 13 amp plug, but surely they could just give you for example 13 amp normal house plug and then include 16 or if you want to buy it. But that's not a problem. Okay, first impressions, wow, look at all the shiny bits, that's a really nice tactile switch, so you have your negative for the torch, positive for the clamp ground, so to speak, that's your control for the pedal. That's a gas. Obviously, all this I'll need to look at the manual, but essentially, aluminium, stainless, titanium, you name it, it can weld. Oh, that new car smell. Love it. What do we have here on the back? That's, um, oh, that's a really nice. That's interesting. It's a 32 amp breaker on the machine itself. Very interesting. Thoughtful of your attack, so that's um, you can ground the machine. That's obviously for your gas inlet. And as far as I know, this is your outlet for water cooling. If you want to get a water cool torch, very nice, very nice. It has a good weight to it, about 23, 24 kilos. I'll start just let's have a look what is in here. Obviously, like any good welder, it should come with uh, lots of instructions. I hope it has a lot of pictures. Because pictures are easy to understand. Yeah, pictures. Yeah, I need that. Okay. Um. So that's your basic standard kit that you have a gas line. Negative positive ground cable, properly copper plated contacts, very nice. It's your arc welding, or most likely I'll never, never use it. Ooh, interesting, even comes with a basic kit. I suppose it would be because it comes with the torch, TIG 26. It's a fairly standard size torch for machines to be included. It's quite bulky, but I know it will handle 200 plus amps. Obviously this stick is only rated to 170, but I'm not planning to take it that far anyways. And then a regulator.
And the thing I'm mostly excited about that is amazingly included with the kit is the SSC control pedal. It's American made and apparently it's brilliant. That's very nice. As a standard 7 pin connector that probably fit most other welders. You can actually test it on my other on my friend's machine. Well that's about it. I guess time to put the plug back on and I can uh, test this thing. Huh, interesting. I thought that you need to screw something in, but no you don't. You literally just let's cut it ever so slightly. Plug it in. Push this. And that's it. Very nice. Very nice. I'm using an extension because my socket is outside in the garage. You never use PTE free tape or anything like that. Unfortunately, the gas bottles that I have, um, they take only this connector and it will not fit this regulator for size differences. And obviously I don't have an adapter right now, so I'm just going to use an old uh, regulator that actually fits onto there. And all we have to do is screw this onto there. That's your liters per minute. Again, no PT tape. Should be enough. The connect so it's yeah that's the one power is on Fantastic. Let's have a look. Pump function. Advanced square, soft square, triangle, single. So advanced square. We need that. Ooh, pedal, tip pulls, standard AC, DC, advanced AC, we don't need pulls, normal setup, AC, easy setup, okay, you see that, program, 
you can save programs. I think it has up to nine programs saved. So you don't need to jump around through your settings all the time to see what's, what's what. Um, how do we change this? I think I should probably read the menu. It's easy setup. All right, let's read the menu. The menu. Let's give it a go. The machine is set at easy AC setup. Hundred ten amps. Obviously using a pedal. All the other settings are preset. It's a square waveform, 2.4 tungsten. Spend a little bit more time on it. Not as quick as the one before. And actually the tip looks all right. So I'm actually happy with that. One of the first two. That was just a little test uh, when I swapped to manual settings. There was a previous one that was at 115 amps and 140 hertz. This is 160 hertz. That was lovely. That is really lovely. I think I'm liking this. So here we have it. A really nice welder. I'm well impressed. Um, obviously, my welds are a bit shit to say the least. But as a little test weld, I reckon that's not too bad. Uh, I'll have a bit more spare time to play with it later on. But for now, very, very happy. Very, very happy. <laughs>